Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 18th. Okay, so we're just gonna see what we have for the 18th or thereabouts. You know, the timing is fluid. Not every reading is for you. I'm gonna get started on next week's weekly, hopefully tonight. What do we have for a message today? Ten of coins. That is success. Financial success. Uh, permanency. Something's becoming permanent or it is permanent. Flourishing. Long term. Long term success. This could be um, getting married. Building a financial, or financial, building a foundation, a financially strong foundation, right? Starting a family, building a legacy. This could also be an inheritance coming in for some people, but I really see this as something permanent, something long term. Abundance. This is extremely abundant. Mm. Queen of Coins reversed. Now, the Queen of Coins reversed is very, very stubborn, hard-headed, uh, may waste money. I mean, the Queen of Coins in reverse may be somebody who wastes money. This could be somebody that is like a fortune hunter. Could also be somebody that is not financially stable, that is going to be receiving some abundance. Okay. Because here, this is not stable. It's insecure. This is the ultimate security. So we could have somebody that maybe there's some sort of irresponsibility or something like that. There could also be a change in the home front. Somebody could be marrying into money. Or, I don't know, what is this Queen of Pentacles reversed? But that's, I put it in the past. So maybe we have somebody here that was financially insecure and there's money coming in or there's abundance coming in or things are going to get better. What is this Queen of Pentacles reversed? Page of Cups reversed. Ooh. Page of Cups reversed. That's lack of uh, emotional content. Definitely ungrounded. We have somebody here that is ungrounded. They don't master their emotions very well. Unrealistic, not very practical. Or In the past, though, I mean, the Page of Cups in reversed is shattered dreams, tears, rejection. Uh, we may have somebody that is obsessed with their image or they were in the past. Not grounded, not very intuitive, overspends to look good, perhaps. Maybe that's what way it was in the past, because that's my past. The Queen of Coins in reverse is somebody that is typically unrealistic, not very practical, very, very stubborn, extremely stubborn. This is a lack of emotion as well. So I wonder if we have somebody here that is uh, it's like an emotionally bankrupt. Emotionally bankrupt. There could be a lack of love in this person's life and a lack of financial success in the past. This is the past. Hmm. What do we have for the future? <laughs> Ooh, well. Ooh, new beginning. The, this is the birth of a new life. This is the birth of a new life. I mean, what comes after death? A new life. And this is the birth of a new life. This is this is news. This is. Uh, 
I don't know if there's something, there's a, there's a message that is coming or there's some information. There's somebody that is interested. This person is very interested, very curious. Somebody is curious about this empress. And this is love and abundance. <laughs> lack of love, lack of abundance. Love and abundance. So that is coming in the future. <laughs> We have somebody here that is, this is curiosity. We have somebody here that is very curious about this person's, um, I don't know, beauty or abundance. I mean, the Empress is giver of life. She's a creator. She creates. She creates everything with love. I feel like there's a love interest. There's a love interest here. And this is the birth of a new life. So this is like, there is a new beginning here. What comes after at death? A profound life change that leads to a new beginning. Endings lead to new beginnings. So, and it is going to be extremely abundant. So somebody is, we have a love interest here. We do. Or it's somebody that is just very curious about what this person is creating. I mean, <laughs> very interested. Somebody is looking, they're watching, they're interested. And there's going to be a new beginning. Um, this is a reward. I mean, the Empress, after she has been through pain which there has been pain there's, I feel like over here, this is the page of cups. And I didn't say it is unrequited love and reversed. Somebody did not receive what they deserved or they, they or something like, or they weren't valued. The queen of coins in reverse is a, somebody that is undervalued or may not have known their worth. This person may not have known their worth. They may have gotten themselves involved with somebody that was literally emotionally unavailable in the past. But now there's some sort of, this is truly a re reward of some sort. Somebody is communicating with an individual that may want to have a start a new life. Um, this is the end of something in the beginning of something new. This person is quite interested. Take a look at that. This is a new beginning. It absolutely is. But it comes after pain. Because I've told you about the Empress before. She doesn't give birth to this new life without experiencing pain. That's a fact. So I think this is tears. Somebody has, has made this person cry, made this person emotional. And I feel like this person has probably not invested in anything because they were emotionally bankrupt. But now there's something permanent, right? There's permanent abundance that is coming in. Extremely abundant. Could be dealing with a Libra, a Gemini, Aquarius, or a Taurus, a Virgo, Capricorn. We also have, we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio over here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, uh, Taurus, Libra, Scorpio. Whatever is happening, we have a beginning here, and it is a beautiful new beginning. Absolutely beautiful. Okay? It's a miracle. Because when the Empress gives birth, it's a miracle. I mean, it's truly a miracle. So to some <laughs> anyhow um this is a domestic goddess somebody that is very caring nurturing has plenty this is also being loved and cared for so we have somebody here that is a, is about to receive a blessing this is a blessing okay the blessing of a new life, a new beginning. So there's a new beginning that is coming. Okay? This is a, a message is coming. Or this could be a messenger. You know, this is a messenger. This is somebody that is messaging and it leads to a new life in some way. Woo! 
Five of Swords. Nine of Wands reversed. So somebody is really scared, okay? They're really scared of being betrayed, all right? The Nine of Wands reversed is fear, expecting trouble. It's avoiding challenge, great personal fear, distrustful, a need to be gentle. So we have somebody here that is very worried about getting hurt. They are. They're worried. They're worried about, you know, dealing with a snake because they've obviously dealt with one in the past. Anyhow, nine of wands reversed. So that is extremely guarded. We have a new beginning here with that death card. This is a profound life change. Walking away from a betrayal. Letting your guard down. Somebody needs to let their guard down. They need to let with that nine of wands reverse. Let's let your guard down. There's some sort of hard feelings. We have somebody here that is has somebody that is interested, obviously, but there's hard feelings with the nine of wands. That's a, that's a, that's a barrier that is up. We we have somebody here that has been wounded. I mean, the nine of wands is somebody that has been wounded, really really bad. And betrayed with the Five of Swords. So there's fear. There's fear of starting over. But there is a new life. Endings lead to new beginnings. Everything happens for a reason. Death is a transformation. It's a transition. There was a separation that hurts somebody really bad okay this is a separation if somebody was betrayed right they were betrayed by a snake and it caused a lot of hurt remember we talked about the pain this is wounded so they caused some wounds inner wounds mental okay but over here, we have this person that didn't know their value, didn't know their worth, got themselves involved with a snake. Everything changes. Don't know my worth. Do know my worth. Somebody learned a life lesson from a snake. And it has made them more beautiful, more beautiful in the end. So now we have a new beginning and it's time to let your guard down. The past is dead, okay? And I hate to say that, but I don't because it's the truth. It's time to stop clinging to the past. Everything changes, nothing stays the same. There was some sort of abuse, neglect. Seven of Swords. Now the Seven of Swords is logic, right? It's about being logical. It's about uh, being flexible. There's some sort of betrayal here, serious betrayal, but it's fear, fear of betrayal, fear of being cheated because of the past. The memories, the memories of the deception of the past. This is memories. It's the past. Deception, deception. The memories of the deception are of the past. It's time to have caused so many wounds. It's time, it's time to let them go, okay? You got to be honest with yourself. Oh, the Seven of Swords. Whoever you were dealing with was acting. They didn't act with a conscience, okay? Somebody may be thinking about running away 
from an opportunity because of fear. Maybe you have to take a risk. Seven of Swords is risky business. This is risky. So anyway, I do believe that there is somebody that is watching or interested in this person and uh, they may want to be given a chance. There's an opportunity for a new beginning. But I'm going to change the story now because we have more than one storyline here. We also have somebody that is really in their feelings. Okay, this is a completely different story. We have somebody that is really, really in their feelings. They're, they're really sad. They're not happy. They have something to do with a mother and a child. Okay? They're not happy. They're unstable. They're insecure. They're not practical. They're ungrounded. They can't master their emotions. They are uh, betrayed. They're feeling betrayed. They're hurt. Um, they're clinging to the past. And they may be... Uh, doing something behind the scenes. There could be some undercover work here. They could be doing something behind the scenes. They could be scheming. They could be uh, planning to hurt somebody. And I hate to say that, okay, but I have to. I have to. We have somebody here that is very strategic, okay? And this is another story. This could be somebody from the past that is hurting over a loss because this is a loss and this is the hurt and they have some tricks up their sleeve so and you know I just gotta give you that little message as well anyhow you may need to protect yourself okay the nine of wands can be about protection somebody may need to protect themselves be careful be aware okay be very very aware there could also be somebody from the past that is watching okay this is another story somebody from the past is watching and they are uh, they're wa watching behind the scenes obviously they may be, they're watching, they may realize or they see that somebody is about to have a new beginning. This person in the past is watching. Okay, they are watching, they're spying. There's a spy here, there's somebody's doing something behind the scenes. And they see the abundance, they do see that whoever it is that they didn't value has another opportunity for a new life. They do see that this person is very abundant and they are and they are creating a new life. Okay, they do see it. But they aren't going to do anything about it because this person is a snake. Okay, so it's time to leave this person behind and carry on with your new life. Let your guard down and start over. Good luck.